when I first met Lawrence, or Pastor Lawrence, when I first met Pastor Lawrence, I didn't like him at all. <laughs> I, I never liked, I didn't like him at all. He would be coming like this, and this guy has come again. What does he want? And the reason why I didn't like him was because he, he, he went behind our back. <laughs> He's my friend. We've known each other for a long time. But he went behind our back. But this was what happened. That actually, they made me like him. So, um, <laughs> one day, we were shooting Land of Fury, Joshua and I. We went to meet Dara, uh, Dara in Kirby State to shoot Land of Fury. So, Sister Dara just came to the room that day. That, Guys, come and see what Lawrence did. Come and see, what, <laughs> come and see the song that I and Lawrence composed. I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know how Dara sounds is when she's excited. <laughs> I said, okay, let's hear the song. I was like, um, I really, really love you. I love you. I love you. I love you, Jesus. I love uh, Jesus. Amen. I, drop the phone. Drop, drop, drop the microphone. <laughs> don't, Amen. Drop, drop that microphone. I don't remember that song. You, you, know, you will not remember, but Amen. I remember. <laughs> yes. Amen. It was already. Let me. It was already. It was. Are, are you listening to me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The album was already waxed. It was, it was done already. I, I went to Lawrence Boy. I really, really love you. I, I, I love you. I love you. Why you love me? <laughs> no, they, they love Jesus. They love Jesus. They, they, they love and we're looking at each other. They're not put Jesus in. They're not took Jesus yeah, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. What was that supposed to <laughs> well, No, 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 let's this happen for real. <laughs> Thank God I was not the only one. Joshua was there. <laughs> Dosha, let you talk, let you talk. Dosha, give me one, let you talk. I, I have an explanation. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering which song is that. It was a song me and her sang together. Yeah, that's, that's the issue. Uh, <laughs> that's the issue. That's, that was the issue. Uh, you now said it as if I, I, was, I no, was... No, no, no. I said the same thing. You said the same thing. You are worshipping God. We're blessing God. Yeah, I know you are worshipping God, but the, you know the angle. It's the angle we are looking at. Uh, <laughs> Anyways... Um, but I also want to thank God for his life. I want to thank God. I want to thank God for giving us, for giving our family a wonderful brother. He's an amazing pastor, amazing brother. Anyways, I feel led to talk about what happens after breakup. Now, personally, I have cried before. My cry was, was mature. It wasn't, I wasn't loud about it. I just, I just like, Lord, why? Lord, why? Why, Lord? You know, and I just said, Joshua, when he cried, it was Amen. a child. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise wait, the wait, Lord. So. Amen. Joshua. Amen. <laughs> wait, wait. Amen. 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 <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. We give her the glory. Well, um, so uh, that night, Joshua locked the door of my room. He just locked the door. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> wait. I gave all this. I have to give you. Everybody here must. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was collect. Joshua locked down my room. Bah, 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 bah. What's going on? This is 12 a.m. What's why are you looking? Open the door, open the door, open the door. What is going on now? What's going on? Tell me, just open the door. I opened the door. I can't take it again. I can't take it again. <laughs> you know what you see that? Huh? I said, Joshua, come. <laughs> I said, Joshua, sit down, sit down. <laughs> sit down, sit down. I sat down beside him. I was like, <laughs> I can't take it again, dummy. I hugged him. I, I know, like a brother will hug. I said, it's okay. You know, this, this thing's happened. You know, this, thing's, this thing's happened. But I encouraged him. I, Dosha, lie that it didn't happen. Okay, I lied. <laughs> it, 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 wait, did it happen or it didn't happen? Did it happen? No, <laughs> I can explain. <laughs> wait, wait. It, it happened. That's the most important thing. It happened. But... When things like this happen, no, my dad always tells me something. When God closes a door, it's because that's not the right key. There's a bigger door that is waiting for you, and he wants to open the better door for you. When I, um, when I had my own issue, it was, I was so unhappy and I was so sad. I was really down. And I told God, I said, God, look, because I was reading through the Bible and I studied the life of Mary. I discovered she was pregnant. Then the Holy Spirit gave me that illustration that, look at it this way. Mary was pregnant, carrying Jesus. But... From my own perspective, it's like Mary was carrying a vision. Mary was carrying a vision. And when Joseph actually saw Mary and realized that this person is carrying something, the first thing he wanted to do was to break up. 
Then I realized that sometimes the strength of your vision repels people who are weak to handle the vision that you are carrying. So sometimes it takes God to, have, to reveal himself to that person and say, this is your wife. So that means the person that is meant for you is the person that has a revelation for you. So that means if you're actually talking to somebody and the person doesn't have the revelation, doesn't have weak, naturally that person will repel. You know, have you ever been in a relationship before, especially for the sisters? You're having so, so, the vision is so strong and so heavy, but the person you are communicating with is not the same frequency with you. And you didn't even break up. This person naturally just decided to walk away. Why? Because of what you are carrying. What you are carrying is big. What you are carrying is heavy. And the person that is meant for you is the person that God has revealed for you. And God is cooking something big for you. This is just a way of encouraging our sisters that, look, don't give up. Don't, don't, don't feel down. Don't feel broken. Don't feel that I might be the only one that is carrying this kind of thing. Why am I the only one carrying something like this? So please, like for me, I told God, I said, God, look, I don't even want, I don't even care about beauty again. Just give me someone that is pregnant. Of course, pregnant with a vision, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just give me someone that is pregnant with a vision. That's what I want. I don't want someone that is pregnant. I don't want someone that is pregnant. I was crying and I was, you know, praying that prayer. And I prayed that prayer with my heart. You know. But when I saw my wife, <laughs> oh my God. What L uh, Pastor Lorenz said, he said, hey, ah, I said, ah, this is, this, ah, no, I know this was the person. You know, I just said this was the person, you know. And it, to me, was, when I was having a conversation with her, we were discussing, it was like I could tell we are on the same frequency. It was like playing table tennis of vision. As I was tossing the egg to her, she was tossing it back to me. Tossing, I was giving her a back to me. I could, I could tell, I could tell that we are on the same frequency.